What's up guys, Israel here, Israel will eat it. Today we're gonna to be making venison stew. As you see, I've got my celery and potatoes cut up in the bottom of my slow cooker. Here I've got beef broth, four cups, red wine, garlic, herbs, deep province, Worcestershire, onions. And over here I've got my venison browning. We're gonna show you guys how to make this. Okay, I got my venison all seared up. It says the recipe calls for about two pounds, but I probably got about three, but I'm a meat lover, so we're gonna go right in with that. Right over the top of those potatoes. We got one 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes. Let's go on in with that. Onion, Joe. A little piece of celery in there, huh? Be fine. It'd be plain fine. Let's get some garlic up in this thing. Now, straighten all that out. About two tablespoons. Bag of sweet petites, little carrots. About a bag. I like carrots too, so. Mm. Got them all in there. The recipe calls for two teaspoons of herbs de Provence. I'm just gonna eyeball this. And it's gonna be delicious. Mm. Herbs de Provence. Now we're gonna go in with 10 dashes of Worcestershire sauce. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 10, 10. Four cups of beef broth. For those of you who don't know, one of these little boxes of beef broth is about four cups. So, let's get it in there. This is going to be a hearty stew, definitely, without a doubt. Okay, got it all in. And last but not least, a half cup of red wine. Now, that red wine, I'm not a drinker, so that cork gave me some issues. I don't have a cork screw. Um, I just got wine shot all over me, but it's all in the name of the game. All right, guys, let's get this red wine in here. Never cooked with red wine, other than cooking wine. This called for actual red wine. So, all right, I'm gonna turn it on and we'll let you guys see the final outcome. Here we have the finished product, venison stew.